Peace, everybody. Uh, this is Jovian from the Original American Foundation. Um, I told y'all I was going to do a video on the community garden. Um, this is it. Um, I did a little bit of cleaning up on this bad boy, but, um, you know, I mean, it's looking the best that we can do it with what we have, our little budget. Um, in this box right here, we have some collards. Uh, I think some of the collars have been pulled and used already, but we need to um, hit them with some kind of pesticide because as you can see, they starting to get hit a little bit, you know, but they're growing nice and big and some were taken off, but they're going to grow back soon. Um, here we have some kale. This kale can come up. So if anybody wants any kale, they can come get them, come get it, you know, and use it for yourself. Um, this is Swiss chard. This can also be pulled. This is another type of kale here that can be pulled and the tomatoes are just coming up. We hit them with the tomato gates. You know, it's a lot of tomatoes coming in here. They're literally coming in almost everywhere. This is a uh, good soil too. This one, this box was actually donated to us, but um, you know, as you can see, it's coming along. A lot of stuff is growing out here. Wow. Um, I don't have enough time or enough people to come in uh, groom it like I want to um, these are more tomatoes here So this year we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes a couple different kind of tomatoes. I planted some yellow tomatoes, too um, I don't know if y'all can see it good because it's, it's really really wild out here but We got all kind of tomatoes coming in um, In about a month or two it should look really 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 good Some of them I didn't get a chance to put gates on you know because like I said we just starting um, We did just get some funding from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We're still in the process of getting that done. So this stuff will be looking a lot better. Um, there's some weeds right here. We gotta get rid of them. I have been pulling some of them by hand. <clears throat> These are llama beans coming up pretty good. Just like before, um, just like in the home garden. We're gonna get some more cages for these. A lot of stuff that's growing now, they on vines, so, you know. Got to treat them accordingly. Um, this is uh, the watermelons that's coming up. And believe it or not, guys, we got watermelon, right? Nice size watermelon. We actually got two. That's one. The other one is hiding here somewhere. I'm going to have to um, trim the leaves down to get them uh, sprouting properly. Um, get like a net around them. Like put a net around here around the bottom and attach it to the cage so we can have a couple of nice big watermelons without all these extra leaves taking out all the nutrients but we might even get more y'all because this stuff is growing really really good uh we got more jungle over here now this is supposed to be my honeydew and again um gotta wait for it to grow get some ties on it to get the gates on there um we have some fruits growing in as you can see so we'll see how they progress this is the first time I planted honeydews. A lot of flowers, so we'll see. Uh, over here, it looked like a lot, but this is all tomatoes, people. All tomatoes, see? A lot of tomatoes. Some of the things didn't take real good, um, but you know, it's a work in progress. We'll clean this up, get them uh, gated up properly, or the best we can, because it's gonna be a ton of tomatoes for this season that you guys can get. Um, and then we're going to start our fall planting, which should be a lot better because we got some funding and um, hopefully we can get some uh, some people to come down and help us. Again, a lot of grass growing in and I got to get rid of, but it's growing people. It's another melon plant here. I think this is another watermelon, but we got something growing here. It don't look like a honeydew though, because I think this is supposed to be a honeydew. Or maybe a watermelon, I'm not sure. So this is a big plant, so we'll give it some time and see what happens. So a lot of melons, a lot of tomatoes, collard greens, lima beans. Of course, everything didn't take, but the more fun that we get, the better equipment we can have. Uh, we'll get things painted out here. Um, we'll pretty much get a lot done. Um, I just wanted to give a quick assessment here, um, pull up some of the weeds that came up. And then I'll come back with the tools that I do have, uh, get a couple more gates, see if we can tame these bad boys. Like I said, a lot of tomatoes. I didn't see us having to worry about rodents that much this year, but I might hit it with a, uh, a natural um, rodent repellent too. 
um, and definitely the pesticide where I need it. Um, all natural pesticide, we use the uh, chrysanthemum um, uh, uh, pesticide made from chrysanthemum, which is a flower. Um, that was a tip I got from uh, a brother by the name of Saved and Sanctified. So, you know, we network best we can. Like I said, it's small now, people. It's small. We have a couple couple spaces we're going to fill, but we're trying. You know, we're really out here doing it. Um, we're going to put up our banner soon, the banner that you see on the YouTube and on the, um, the Facebook page. So um, I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up, get rid of some of these weeds, and um, I'll get back to you guys in due time. This is Jovian from the Original American Foundation. This is our community garden. This is how we're progressing. Um, if you guys want to uh, donate, the cash app is O American. You know, cash sign O American. If you guys want to help out and donate, All right, I can't believe these uh, watermelons, man. It's amazing. So making progress. So y'all stay up. Be good. This is Jovian, aka Star Child from the Original American Foundation. Later.